Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of MySQL database administration. Um, today we will be talking about how we can extract uh, our statement from binary log. Uh, before this we have discussed how we can use uh, the binary logs and uh, what kind of uh, binary log format we have like uh, how we uh, like, by, uh, like statement, row base and mix board. And before we discuss that how we can enable binary log and how we disabled it, uh, how we can move and how what kind of uh, how we can set the expi expiration of uh, the binary log. So if you haven't watched those videos, please go back and watch my videos about that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and like and share these videos. Okay, so let's go further and let's see how we can extract uh, statements from binary log. Uh, in order to do that, uh, MySQL provide. Uh, uh, utility which is called mysql bin log uh, and that uh, can be used to extract the content uh, from the binary log and then we can apply them on our mysql server uh, this is very important to utility uh, which is used for point in time recovery and uh, we will discuss this uh, later on uh, in our upcoming uh, tutorials and let's see uh, how uh, we can use this and i will be doing some uh, tests uh, like uh, uh, in different uh, binary log format how uh, the content of the binary log will look like uh, how will it look when the binary log format is set to row and then we will check how is look like for uh, statement base and then mix uh, mix mode so by default uh, mysql come with a binary log format uh, which is uh, row based and uh, let's check how this is gonna look uh, so let's do this uh, begin okay and then let me update uh, this uh, our uh, before that let me do that it is like attached in employees employees dot so we don't need to set our so update it okay then commit and now let me show you uh, how does it look uh, so what is our current binary log uh, show binary a uh, logs so 21 is our current binary log and it will have updated the this one so this is, has been updated so we will check this one and to check that uh, we have this uh, mysql binary log uh, utility uh, and we will check this one okay because i'm already uh, in same directly so we can check this directly okay so now uh, if you check here uh, what it does at uh, when uh, before that let me show you a few things uh, before this if you see here uh, this one at uh, 337 uh, this is the position uh, like uh, uh, do you see like it's indicate the starting position uh, like the file offset uh, of the event in the binary log file and the second line which is the this timestamp uh, this this one uh, it shows uh, that uh, uh, when the statement started on the server okay and then this uh, it is followed by the server id and log uh, position and few more things uh, like uh, other things which we can see here and uh, here yeah, this one this is this is a better example like uh, this from here started and then uh, we have this timestamp uh, server id and log position and then the thread id we have execution time and the code if there is any error it will show you the error code so execution time what is this uh, uh, it's uh, the time spent uh, executing the event okay uh, on master okay so this is the timestamp executing the event on the master uh, server uh, on a slave how will it uh, how we can define this on a slave uh, on a slave it is the difference of the end uh, end execution time on sla uh, slave uh, then minus the beginning uh, execution time on the master so the difference uh, different server that's so what this indicate so this the dif if we have the difference uh, between these two uh, then that is called the lag okay so this mean uh, this is how uh, your mysql uh, slave server will ident identify like how much i am lagging behind the master uh, so that's how uh, this uh, binary log look like uh, when we have uh, our format set to row base and this is the uh, execu uh, execution we did like uh, this is what we uh, executed 
uh, in our environment uh, the update query uh, which is stored inside this our binary log in a bin log in a binary log in a binary format okay so this is not human readable uh, so if you want to read this uh, what you have to do is minus v and this will show you in the sudo format okay uh, like here when i executed this minus v provided minus v sorry here if you see here where is it uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. like uh, uh, just, just a minute yeah this query i executed this one okay i provided minus v for the same one and then it's showing me that all the set you see here update employee the salary and set set all these queries this is the whole query uh, for each uh, like we s saw that around 17 uh, rows has been updated for each it is showing us uh, what we have done like all this is showing and this is a binary format and then it shows us uh, the what do you say the pseudocode if we provide double v uh, it's gonna show us some metadata as well like it was an integer uh, like the same the rows the column was integer this was integer this was a date format and uh, all this uh, provides some metadata information as well uh, it is because we provide a double v okay now let's uh, set our environment to, to the uh, statement base and see how it's gonna work so in row base it uh, updates all the rows uh, okay and then it's uh, store only the uh, rows uh, which has been updated okay so now in statement base uh, let's see how it's going to look and uh, let's do that okay for to, in order to take effect uh, we have to exit uh, if we don't need to uh, exit uh, it will still uh, take a like it shows you for this but uh, it will work only uh, for new session okay so we have to exit and check so it's changed uh, to the statement base it would already has been shown you in the previous session uh, to statement uh, but it would only take effect uh, if you uh, exit and then log in again so let's uh, check this and update okay, let's do update query and then okay no database selected sure okay obviously let me do this here as well so we don't use the other queries so okay now let's update some and multiply them and let's commit here now okay now if i do here like uh, if i want to read this uh, file um, let's see how it uh, gonna show us uh, in the binary log file like how the, the update statement is gonna look like so if you see here uh, there uh, last time we have this was the update when we did for the uh, row base and you see here uh, here yeah this one this is the update we run so in statement bit, uh, based it uh, will insert all the statement here okay so the exact statement is uh, sent here so this is why uh, mysql goes for uh, binary binary format because it's not readable to human so if this is not safe you see so like uh, anybody can check what has been uh, done on your s uh, mysql server to this uh, checking the binary log if he has access to your server as well obviously okay so this uh, so this is now clear that how it's gonna update how it's gonna store your statement uh, in a statement uh, binary log format so if you can see the update it's clearly shows that it has been uh, pasted here just as as we uh, executed okay so now let's do it for the the mix mode and for mix mode let's set this and exit and uh, log in again okay uh, this has been set now uh, let me flush the uh, blog uh, binary log so we can create uh, flush logs okay so it will uh, create a new log and then if you see here let me uh, now the 22 is here so it uh, it will make us easy to read uh, the binary log okay so uh, next we have is uh, yeah uh, let's exit here and log in again okay then begin okay and then paste our queries which we want to do here uh, this update here and then let's do another 
insert statement or change this too long for the bottom row. okay so uh, let's commit here and sorry okay so let me show you now how it's gonna look if I uh, check the 22 because you have to check the 22 uh, because this is our current binary log and yeah okay if you see here uh, first we did the update here uh, here we did an update here okay then we did the insert and if you see our uh, uh, binary log format it will be mixed mode let me show you that so this is now mixed mode okay <clears throat> so we first we did update if you see the update uh, it's, it's pasted just like that uh, we executed so all the updates are treated like this in mixed mode and the insert uh, are this is the insert we did okay and the insert are uh, st uh, like stored in a binary format so insert are not readable and binary log and updates are readable so this is how uh, this is the difference between your uh, all the binary log format and when you stack them uh, from in this format this is how it's gonna look like when you do the extract in different binary log format so that's it for this tutorial and uh, this is getting longer so I will discuss the more things in the separate tutorial thank you so much for coming thank you so much for watching and please like share and subscribe to this channel